he's a dog man! He's better than he was, his head is... Hi everyone, Jillian here, the Artistic Associate at TheaterWorks USA. Today, we're going to take you inside the world of Dog Man the Musical with Candy Boyd, who will teach you some fun choreography from the show to get you up on your feet. Let's get to it! Hi, my name is Candy Boyd, coming to you live from my back deck. I am the tour director and choreographer of Dog Man the Musical. And like most of you, I am currently stuck at my house, but that doesn't mean we can't get up and move. So Theater Works wanted to give everyone the opportunity to learn a little exclusive piece of the Dog Man the Musical choreography at their own house, and then maybe record it and post it and send it to us so we can all enjoy it together because we're all in this together, right? So, I don't know how many of you know, but Dogman the Musical, produced by TheaterWorks, originally directed by Jen Weinman, and originally choreographed by Jen Weinman as well, she's amazing, original music by Brad Alexander, and book by Kevin DeLagula, is based on the very popular Dogman books by Dave Pilkey, and specifically Dogman the Musical is based on this book, A Tale of Two Kitties. And um, the dance that I'm about to show you is one of the fan favorite sections of the show. Uh, it's because there are a lot of moves in it that maybe you've seen before from a little game I don't know if you've heard of called Fortnite. So a lot of people are big fans of this section. And uh, so I'd love to teach it to you so you can do it with your friends, do it with your family, do it at home. And uh, let's go ahead and look at a clip of the original Off-Broadway cast doing this section of this dance this summer. Who's a good cop? Who's a good cop? Who's a good cop? Such a good cop. Knick knack, patty whack. In a cop a bone jack. Sold back. Wiggity whack. Body like cold jack. And soon. Pretty great, right? So, as you can see, there are a couple moves in there that you might recognize. Uh, just to give you a little background on this section of the show and the show in general before I go ahead and show you the dance. This happens at the point in the show during the title song. The song is called Dog Man. And a little background on Dog Man. Um, maybe spoiler alert if anybody hasn't read the books, but it's not. I don't delve too far into what happens, so I think it's okay. Uh, our main characters are Officer Knight, who is a cop, and his sidekick dog, Greg the Dog. So they're, you know, they're cop partners. And as the chief says in the show, Officer Knight... You're one tough cop, but you ain't got no brains. And then he says to the dog, and Greg, you're a super smart dog, but your flea-bitten body is an embarrassment to the force. So we've got a problem, right? Super smart dog, super tough cop, right? So what happens is Petey, our, the evil cat in our show, puts a bomb out in the streets of the city and unfortunately, Officer Knight and Greg the dog try to disable the bomb and they, in, as in the words of the show, get blowed up. So our next scene is we see them on the operating table in the hospital and it's very serious. And the doctor says, I don't know what to do. Officer Knight, we can't save your head. And Greg the dog, we can't save your body. And the nurse, Nurse Millie says, well, why don't we just so the dog's head on the cop's body. And everyone thinks that's a great idea. So we go into the number called Dog Man. And at this moment, Dog Man has just been revealed with his dog head and his cop body. And he's got super brain powers and super strength. He's almost like a superhero. And all the people of the town are celebrating him and dancing. And so that's where we begin. Let's start. All right, so let's do it. So. The first thing we're gonna start with is the phrase, I hope you can hear me back here. First thing we're gonna start with is the phrase, who's a good cop, who's a good cop? He's a good cop, such a good cop. So in this section, we're being all the townspeople and Dogman's not quite sure of himself, so we're hyping him up, we're giving him confidence, we're letting him know that we believe in him. So this is sort of an improv section. So you can go like, who's a good cop? Who's a good cop? He's a good cop, such a good cop. All right, just like you're talking to a good old doggo. Uh, okay, so after we do that, 
at the end of the second phrase, he's a good cop, such a good cop. We step into second with our toes facing forward. And then we're going to do something you've probably seen before called the floss. It's a Fortnite move. It's very popular. Uh, it's very free in our dance. So it isn't like set to the specific speed of the beat, but we are going to start it slower and kind of hesitantly. And then as Dogman grows confidence, we're going to speed it up. So uh, to break down the floss, for those of you who can't do it, which I'm sure most of you can, but just in case there's one or two moms or grandmas or uncles or aunts out there, I'll break it down for you. Uh, it's basically two different body parts. So your hips and your hands. So the hips simply go back and forth, right to left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's all they do. If you can keep them moving, you'll be good. The hands have four different positions and I like to describe it like you're holding a string and you're trying to break the string with your hips. So we have like fists and we have a string between our hands. So the space between our hands really never moves um, because there's a string there. And then we're trying to break the string. So the first move, since our hip is going right, is our hands go one in front, one behind that hip. One, break that string, then out. Three, break the string on the left, four. Then one, two, break the string on the right, three, four. Let me do that slower for everybody. Position one is through, then everything reverses, then everything switches sides, and then through again. And again, my hand's going behind my hip. So we're breaking that string. Think of breaking that string with our hip. So sped up a little, Within the context of the song, it's slow at first and then builds in speed. Nick, knack, patty, whack, give that cop a ball jack. So you can get as fast as you want in there, um, but it's nice that it builds from the beginning to the end. So to back up a little, we went, who's a good cop? Who's a good cop? <gasps> He's a good cop, such a good cop. Seven, eight, Nick, knack, patty, whack, give that cop a ball jack. Does that make sense? All right, moving forward after the floss, we're doing something that we in rehearsals like to call the crunk, but I don't know that that's what it's called. We just, that's just what we called it. That happens sometimes in theater. We're going to get really low in a second, and we're going to uh, contract our lower body and sort of circle our arms and step right, left, right, left. So it happens four times, soul back, wiggity whack. And from the sides, so you can tell what I'm doing. I'm going forward, 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 forward with my hips. And then circling my hands. And this is super free. Feel free to make it as crazy as you want, as high as you want, as low as you want, as big as you want, whatever you want to do. This is your dance to have fun with. So again, to add that on, we just did who's a good cup? Who's a good cup? Oh, he's a good cup. Such a good cup. Nick, knack, patty, whack, give that cop a bone jack, soul, back, wiggity, whack. Then the last four moves, and then you're done, is something called the shoot. It's also a Fortnite move. I'm going to break it down by the feet first and then add the hands. So all your feet are doing is jumping four times on your left foot and sort of kicking your right foot. One, two, three, four. So the, 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 the right leg is bent, but it's pretty loose. You're kicking it forward a little bit and you're jumping on that left foot. So one, two, three, four. The hands for the first two jumps are really loose by your side. One, two, and then for the last two jumps, it's called the shoot because it's like you're shooting a basketball. You go three, four. So you go one, two, three, four. And then the very last step is Dogman at this point has gained his full confidence. He is feeling great. So he gives the audience a great big wolf. And that's it, that's the whole dance. So backing up from the beginning, we have, who's a good cop, who's a good cop? He's a good cop, such a good cop. Seven, eight, knick, knack, patty, whack. Give that cop a bone jack, soul back, wiggity whack, body like Kojak Wolf. And that's it guys, you learned the whole dance. Do you want to try and do it with the music with me? Sound good? And then after we do it together with the music, I'd like you all to record yourself doing it 
give us some costumes, give us some flair, and then tag Feederworks USA on us, on it, on social media, and we'd love to see your dance. Ah, thanks for joining me. Here we go. Ready? Everybody together up. Grandma's too. Part dog, part man, all heroes. Five, six, seven, eight. Who's a good cat? Who's a good cat? Who's a good cat? Such a good cat. Knick-knack, patty whack. And I got my bone jack. So bad. Body like cold jack. Woo. That's it, guys. Thanks. Send us your videos. All right. That's all for today, but we hope you had fun, learned something new, and feel inspired to go out and get creative on your own today. Because remember, theater works anywhere. Anything is possible from any place you are. You can spend time with a friend even if they're near or super far. Our ideas combine, we can go online with stories that we all can share. Because theater works anywhere. Theater works anywhere. Theater works.